All right, I'm so happy you are here. The time has finally come. I am pulling out all of my paints because if you guys have been watching my DIY craft videos, I always have to stop the video and clean out the crusties that have formed inside of the paint. So I am finally cleaning out every single one of these acrylic paints. Hopefully you guys will find this video very satisfying, cleaning all of the goopy out and old paint out. So I just keep my paint inside of this box. This is actually like an old boot box or something. It's really old. These are like my little pots of paint. And then of course I have all of my acrylic paints. So I'm gonna pull all of these out and we're gonna check them out and see just how crusty they are. Some of these are really old, like years and years and years old. So I'm not sure what we're gonna find, but here we go. Let's just start cracking them open and let's start cleaning these paints out. Some of them could be in really good condition. Like this one, I think I bought this one not that long ago, blue cotton. I'm gonna give these a good shake, pop it up. That looks pretty clean. So this one's probably going to be okay. Here's the test though, is opening it up and seeing what we get. Yeah, okay. That one is still fresh and good. I also have a toothpick to help kind of pick out some of this paint so we can kind of just touch. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there's a little bit of some crust in here. Just a little bit. And it's good to, to stay on top of this because if I just let this go and just keep crusting and drying, it'll make it so hard to open up the lid. Okay. Pull that out. Ugh. All right, blue cotton, pretty good. This one, give it a shake. Oh, see, we've got a crusty piece right here. Decrust that, it's much better. Let's pop it open. Looks like the label's kind of peeling off a little bit here. This one could be kind of old. Oh, it doesn't look that bad. Let's toothpick test it though. It's a little dry. It's a little bit dry in here. Ugh. Okay, peel that out. Oh, I'm gonna be so happy when these are all clean. This is such a pretty color, this like taupey color. I'm gonna take this like butter knife that I use only for crafting, twist around in here, loosen it up a little bit more. There we go, get that out. Looking much better and the inside of the paint looks pretty smooth. Sometimes it's been getting a little crusty here on the edges, but this is actually looking, oh, wait a minute. <gasps> No, I can see it peeling in here. Oh no, you see this little flap? You see this little dry flap? Oh no, no, I thought it was good, but it's actually, oh no, oh. All right, it's starting to dry on the edge here. Ugh, I try to get out as much, as much of that edge as I can. Ugh, there, oh, this one's stringy. Oh, oh, it's really grabbing on. Oh wait, kind of twist it up and pull, grab it. Oh, there it is. I see the chunk. I, I see it coming out now. There it is. Oh, okay. And some more of this edge here. There we go. Now it's kind of pulling away. Okay, there we go. Ah, <sighs> okay. This is a lot smoother now. Wow, I almost missed that one. You know, let's recheck that blue cotton one and just make sure inside it doesn't have that crusty either. Bubble. Bub oh no, I missed it. Look it. It's got this edge. These are tricky. Okay, I'm really gonna have to go in. I'm sure every single paint is probably going to need to be cleaned. Every single one. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, it's so gloopy. I thought it was perfectly fine. I just passed it over and was like, good, it's fresh. Oh man, and this is one that's still kind of new, like kind of a newer paint that I bought. I can't even imagine now what we're gonna find whenever I get to the really old ones. Some of the paint that I've had for years. Okay. That one seems okay for now. Oh no, let's recheck that cap. It's still looking a little dry on this edge. Okay, should be good. All right, which one now? How about this one? It's already spilling out. I've used this one a lot. Oh, it doesn't even shake. Oh, it might even be just old. I may just have to throw this one out. Oh, oh, I can't even, ow, I can't even open it. Oh, there we go, I got it. All right, let's see. I don't know, it's a little hard to see in here. We'll do a lid check. Seems to be okay, but a little bit of some dried paint on the edge. I'm mostly concerned about what's going on inside of here. So let's peel the edge and let's see, does it pick? It's okay. It actually looks like this one's perfectly fine. Wow, I'm surprised. I thought this one would definitely have a problem or be really old, but it was okay. All right, what about this one? Wild Grapes. I just used this one whenever I was repainting the Barbie to be Jelly's mom. No, this is pretty soft in here. Pretty soft paint. And the inside is pretty creamy. This looks pretty good still, so this is all good. All right, what about this one? Really crusty right here and in the crack, break that crust apart. Open, ugh, 
Oh, it feels pretty dry in here. Yeah, see, there we go. Oh, it's got like a little ring. It's got a paint crusty ring. There we go, get, get some of that crust out. Okay, that's gone. My little butter knife in here, loosen it up. There we go, so it's loosened up some of that paint. It just gets so dry in here. Peels away on the edge. Oh, oh, there we go. Kind of peel this whole front piece. Just wants to completely separate. Oh, there we go. See, it kind of looks like it, like a bag, almost like it like folds in on itself. Oh, no, don't fall back in. Ugh. But see, it's really folding in down there. Oh, it's folding in all the way at the bottom. Oh, oh no. Oh. Okay, this one is bad. Oh, I'm so glad I'm finally doing this. It's like some spring cleaning on my paints. All right, I'm gonna put the butter knife in here. Does it fit? Oh no, it doesn't fit. Ugh. All right, here's what I pulled out so far of all this really gunky paint. This one's probably okay for now, but I'll probably have to keep an eye on this one and constantly clean it to keep it nice and fresh and usable. All right, let's go in with this one. This one looks pretty new. It feels pretty full. Still has the little piece here on it. Oh yeah, that, that looks pretty good. Pop the bubble. I mean, it's a little thick on the edge, but it feels it feels pretty good. Okay, now the cap though, let's see. The cap, yeah, the cap has just a little, little bit of some crusting. There we go, I can pull that whole piece out. Let's put it right here. Just go around that edge and just kind of pull them out. Let go, come on, let go. Is it gonna let go? Come on. Oh, there we go. Ooh. All right, that one's pretty good. All right, let's open this one. And that looks pretty good. Oh, wait. Oh, I had to poke around in here. Oh yeah, a little bit of some gunky. Look at how beautiful that color is. I love neons. I'm gonna have to do some more like neon painting. Okay, that feels okay. And, oh, wait. Oh, a little bit of some dried. Ugh. Ew, it's starting to really just kind of peel out of here. Oh, there we go. Oh, it gets so stuck in here. Oh, look at that. Look how that just peels away. Come on. There we go. Oh, but look at how fresh and clean that looks. That really helped. This one is really old. I've had this one a long time. Look at that. Even the lid on this one won't even close all the way because it's so crusty right here. There we go. Oh, still doesn't want to close all the way. What do we have here? Oh yeah, really dried up paint. Okay, this one feels pretty new. Let's see, yeah, a little bit of a crust on here. Just a little bit. Ugh. And yeah, a little bit of some dried paint. Oh, these just start to dry so fast. Even though I've barely used this color, it's still so kind of crusty. Oh. Ugh. Okay, this one was pretty bad. Which one was that? That one's a velvet crush. Okay, here's another really old one. The label's cracky. Oh yeah. See, even the paint is starting to separate on the top here. Oh yeah, this is definitely, there we go. Oh, so much better. Very good. Oh, but look at the inside of it. Look at all that dried paint. This is all dried paint that is so thick from over the years. Oh, okay, this one's the worst one. Oh, just keep on scraping it. Ugh. I've had this one a long time, back whenever I was like customizing horses. So this was like a really good brown to use. And did I use this one on the peanut butter family? I may have used this one on the peanut butter family. I mean, even that paint, look at it. Oh, I should honestly probably just throw this out. I don't even know if it's worth keeping. Ugh. Maybe if I get the top layer off? Oh, look how crunchy, oh. I mean, maybe it just needs to be mixed up. I don't know. I know it's wrong, but I'm gonna hang on to it for now. But look at all that. Look at all that crust that came out of the top. Oh, all right, let's do another one. See, most of my browns are going to be really old. Again, because I used to do so much model horse customizing. Yeah, this one looks like it's really dry here at the top. So we can peel this away. Just kind of roll it, gather it, collect it. Get it out of here. I mean, it still feels kind of smooth on the top. I think this paint is just a little bit of a thicker paint, so this is okay. Now we've got a metallic brown. Yeah, a little bit of some dry right in here. Ooh, kind of collect that. Hey, okay. now it seems kind of nice and soft in there. Now the lip of it. No, that's all nice and soft still. Oh, this one's one of my favorites. You guys know if you guys watch my customizing videos, I use chocolate bar all the time. Oh, it's gonna make me hungry because it just looks so much like melted chocolate. Chocolate bar is the perfect name for this one. Get that clump out. There we go. Ugh, yuck. Oh, there we go. Kind of 
Get that. Now let's check the lip of it. It looks pretty smooth. This looks like smooth paint. Oh, except for a little bit. Oh, and then they screw on so smooth. Oh, we got another really old one. See this one again, it's been starting to kind of separate and ugh, on the edge, it's spraying my toothpick to do this. Ah, oh, it broke it. Oh no, some of it fell into the paint. Oh, look at the paint. Oh, it's so separated. That's enough with this one. This one's called Chocolate Sprinkle, another perfect name. Yeah, look at that. That one is really stuck in there. Oh, there we go. Oh, can I get that piece out of here? Crusty. All right, get that out of here. Perfect. And then the top still looks really whipped and nice. Melted chocolate. Can you guys tell that I love these chocolatey browns yet? <gasps> or maybe I was just hungry whenever I was picking out paint. Oh, perfect. Very easily, we can just scoop this one out. Nice and clean. And the top, a little bit goopy. Oh, oh, whenever it just starts to pull from the edge, oh. There we go. And then it's just so nice and clean in there. It makes me so happy. Okay, look at how old this one is. This one, I had to tape the top of it because I think I broke the top, but yet it, I still kept it. So let's see if it's dried out. Ooh, I must've kept this one cause it's like a really nice golden Palomino color for horses. Oh, okay, let's give it a squeeze. Oh, it's like a mustardy kind of color. It actually still kind of looks good. A little separation. Definitely peel that away. Oh, here we go. It's coming out. Oh, now the lid is another story, possibly dried out because there was a crack, but I'll just peel it clean. All right, there we go, clean and clean. It's pretty cool that it didn't totally dry out yet. Yellow, and, oh, let's see. It's kind of crusty, it's a little chunk. Oh, I broke my toothpick again. Ugh, dried mustard. Now the inside here, kind of pull it down. Ugh. Oh, it's so satisfying to get these clean. I'm really enjoying this. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this too. I know you guys have been requesting for me to do this because I've been saying I need to do this so bad. And so now, finally cleaning everything. Okay, that looks pretty good. This one is sunny day. Let's see how crusty. Ugh. Again, it's just so dried on the outside edge. Yuck. Oh, yes, look at that. Created like a ring that I could just pull right out. Whoa, look at that. Yes. Okay, that really helped. Oh, I broke it again. The inside. Inside seems really soft. Hey, this one's called sunlight yellow. Oh, look at that one. It's like, it's so crusted in here. It's starting to like fold up on itself. Ew, 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 ew. I feel like I used this one not that long ago. Now all this crusty, break it apart. Oh, now I'm gonna be able to, oh, yep. Can easily pick away at the inside here. Just lift it up to get it out. Here it comes. Ugh, little flaps of like dried paint. Oh, that was the perfect piece, perfect. Oh, here's another big piece. Ugh. Oh, this is a really, oh, really big piece. It's just kind of hanging in here. Come on, I see you, come on. Oh, it's coming out. Oh, it's really stuck. Ugh. Oh, 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 yes, I got it. Look at that, it like cleared the edge now here. So it's it's like clear now. That's how much dry paint was hanging out, just right there. All right, sunlight yellow. Now you can go back to being nice and happy and bright. Okay, this seems a bit old too. Oh yeah. So far, all these yellows have been really bad. Yeah, even the inside looks pretty bad. Ugh. Now I've got some neon yellows. See how this will do. Oh, that looks crusted. That looks pretty crusted over in here. Oh, 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 this one's got another ring. Oh, here it is. There it is. I kind of broke the ring apart. Ew, there we go. And the lip of it, a little dried, but not too bad. And I have this really bright neon yellow. Oh, ew. it's already crusting. Ew, there. Oh, all right, I got it. Here it comes. And the lid, a little bit crusty there. There's that little crust ring. Got it. Oh, another crust. Ooh. Okay, got it. Let's check out the neon green. Oh, that one's crusty too. Just peel it away. Oh, that came out nice and clean. Yes, I love when that happens. Oh, same thing with this little piece too. Ooh, get that out of here. 
Goodbye. Oh, it's still going. Oh. oh no, and even the inside here too. I wonder if there's something with some of these neons that just kind of make it kind of harden in this way, that it kind of just kind of bunches like plastic. Ew. This one feels like a new one. Oh, maybe not. Still a little, little chunky in here. Little bit of some chunky. Looks pretty good. New shamrock. I love this color. Oh, but not loving this crusty. Little bit of some chunky in here. Oh, it's peeling right here. There we go. Oh, oh, I'll just have to peel it with my fingers. I even have another one. This is back whenever I was doing a bunch of background paintings. Oh yeah, this one is really crusty. Oh, it's like twisting and turning on the inside. There we go. Got it. I got it. Oop. Pull it out. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, get all of that out. Much better. Oh, this is one I have not used in a long time. It's a metallic Christmas green. Just got really clumpy in there. And this edge, oh, it's thick. Actually, that came out pretty easy. This is a really pretty lime sherbet. Still a little crusty. Ew, yuck, ew. Oh, okay, here's a really old piece. This is really old. It's got separated paint that's really hard. Oh! Look at that. Look at how hard that was that I could just pop it right out. What about this edge? I can't even like pick it off or anything. It's just dried. Oh wait, it's peeling. It's peeling. Oh, there we go. I could at least pull that out of it. Oh good, here it comes. Oh look, at it's like cleaning the outside here. That's just how gunky and old this is. Oh no, it fell in, it fell in there. Oh wait, here it is, here it is. All right, I think that's the best I'm gonna be able to get out of this one. Apple Orchard, this is a shiny paint. Is this one pretty old? Yeah, and it has that crusty string. And peel the lid a little bit. Oh, there we go. Spring green. It's hard on the bottom. Oh, there we go. Yes, perfect. I love it when it comes out so clean. All right, let's get into the blues. Spa blue, oh. It's crusty, oh yeah. Ugh, this piece is just so crust. It's so ready to get cleaned. There we go, it's just folding in. Oh, come on, come out in one piece. Come on, just one big piece. Yes, pretty good. But it's still folded up on the inside here. Is this one even worth saving? I'm gonna try to save it. I still have like half a bottle in here of paint. Oh, there we go. Come on, let go of it. Oh, just grab it. I can just get it all to come out. Oh no, it fell in, it fell in, I have to grab it. Here it is, oh I got it, I got it. Oh yes, okay, now let's look at that. Even the edge here, nice and clean. This is such a pretty blue. Oh, a little bit of string. Oh, oh got it. Oh, oh, that one is so crusty. I think we have a winner. I don't even have to pick at it because it's already been peeling and picking itself because it's been so dry. Yeah, definitely, definitely the last time I used this. If it wasn't for painting something rainbow, it was painting a sky. Oh, and it's so crunchy. Ew. Now, <laughs> the inside of this, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Let's just try picking at it and see what happens. I mean, it's like the whole thing wants to lift up. Just Pull it out. I mean, this whole paint, it might be all dried. Oh, I can't believe I'm pulling this out of here. Oh, look at that big piece. Look at that. That is just thick, pure paint. Oh, and you can still see it here on the edge. I don't know if I can save this one. It's got a lot of crusties in here. Oh, every single time I dip in here, it just blobs out a big glob of thick paint that's just been drying for years. All these years I've been painting. Oh, look at that one. Oh, this looks like another really old one. Oh yeah, oh, oh no. It's all hardened on the top. That's, oh, I poked through it. The new paint wants to pop through the top. It wants to break through, just break it off. Ugh, but it's still not looking very good in here. Let's check this one. A Little bit of some crusties and the inside, a little bit too. Okay, that one looks pretty good except for this little piece. Oh, it's like a true turquoise color. Yep, that one's brand new, fresh. Oh, I cannot wait to use this color. That's so pretty. This one's not looking too good. Little crumbly ball here. Oh, and a little bit right here. Oh, actually, wait a minute. I think there's a lot in here. Kind of folding down. 
Oh, there was a lot. It almost looks like a wet plastic bag. Ugh, that one's looking pretty good. That lid's not looking too good in here. Yeah, there we go, break that apart. Oh, it's got this thick edge. Yuck. Oh, this is gonna be so great. I am so excited to get painting now. This one. Hmm, okay, the lid's, lid's okay. And the side kinda has that little string from being exposed to the air. Oh, what happened to this one? The color completely separated. Okay, I have to get this a really good shake. All right, let's check it out now. Oh, see, look at that. The color has totally separated in this one. It's really pretty looking though, but it's, it's two different colors swirled together to create this teal color. Now we gotta pick this piece out, get that out of here. Ew. But the inside is pretty clean, except for that color mixing. This one, a little bit gunky again. Inside, a little stringy. Another one of these metallics. Always seem to dry out. These ones definitely dry with that metallic formula. Ooh, and the edge, crusty. Oh, here's another one that's, oh no, even on the inside. It's just peeling on its own, pulling it out. Now the inside of this lid, wow. All right. Ugh. Oh, it really hardened like this. Ugh. <gasps> My toothpick. There we go. Get it out with the knife. Just easily scoop it out. Look at how clean it is now. This gunk is all gone. Perfect. Oh, it makes me so happy. Oh, this one is stringy. Looks okay in the lid, but a little stringy. Oh, very stringy. Oh, this one came out nice and oh, clean. Perfect. Almost looks like a little coin, like a little dime. And the inside definitely is peeling away. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, there's so much of it. Oh, there we go, I got it. Oh, hello, beautiful silver. This one looks pretty good. It's creamy. This one looks brand new. A little crusting here. You can see it kind of webbing and folding on the inside and on the lid, just a little bit here on the lid. A little bit in here. Oh, this one is so crusted. That's so weird how it formed. All right, let's start picking at it. Break it apart. Same thing with this lid. Oh, oh, it's so crusty. Ugh. Oh no, I think some of it fell into it. Good enough. Now we've got this metallic pearl color. Use this a lot whenever I'm painting unicorns. Let's see what we got in here. Pretty dry, get the knife in here, kind of loosen it up. Oh, there we go. And the lip, perfect. Pick this all clean. Oh, it's gonna still like fold. Now my white paints I use all the time. So yep, as expected, these are very, very crusted. These are great for painting bases and kind of priming things. Ah! So I go through white and black paint very quickly. Pick all this clean. No, it's falling on the inside. Oh, this one looks good. This one's always been thick, creamy, and buttery. Toasted marshmallow, one of my favorite ones to paint with. Ugh, ew. All right, now we've got some pinks and some reds left. This one might be one of my favorite colors of pink. It's like a bright neon-y pink. Look at how pretty that is. Look at how whipped and gorgeous. Most of these pinks are looking pretty good. This is looking a bit chunky. Ugh. There we go. Got it. Woo, neon pink. And very chunky. It's like the same color as my nails. This is a bright, bright pink. I think you're gonna need sunglasses on in order to look at it. Wow, it's bright. Ooh, and old. There we go, got this to come out of it. Ugh. Oh no, I spilt it. Oh, here we go, it's starting to pull. There we go. Ew, ew, ew. Yuck. All right, the gold looks good. Really pretty. We're almost done just making our way through these paints. If you are here and if you are listening to this, you are awesome. You must be really finding this really, really interesting and hopefully as satisfying as I'm finding it. It's just so weird. 
Ugh, it's gonna make such a difference now whenever I go to use my paints. Ooh, this one's really dried up right here. So if you're listening to this, put in the comment section, neon orange. And that way I know you are watching this right now and that you are amazing. And you didn't just click through the video. Whoop, all right, that one's all clean. Whoa. Oh, this one is so gunky. Oh, it's the gunkiest one. Ew. At least it's pulling up easy. Same thing with this inside. It is just pulling away. There we go. It's coming out. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's so clean. Look at that. Look at the top of it. You can see through it. Oh, this one's really old. This one looks like ketchup. Like a really Oh, look at that. Just cut right into it. Just get the whole thing out. There we go. Oh, oh, all right, that is all the paints. I have put them all back inside of my little box here. The only paints to get through. Oh no, and look at my camera lens. Oh, do you see the little dots right there and right there? No, I have to clean the paint off the lens. All right, so the only paint that I still need to clean are these ones. These are the ones that I always have on top of my table here, right on my craft table, because I use these all the time. So another black, which it's almost used up, but we'll open it anyways. So these are ones I use all the time. So yeah, they're, they're crusty, it's expensive. So I'm not too worried about these ones since I am getting through these ones. And I also have this black. Again, not too much crusty. I had this glow in the dark paint out because I actually just painted something for myself that was a glow in the dark. So I still have this out. It's a little crusty, a little crust here too. And then my big bottle of white paint that again, I use all the time. So I'm almost through this one completely. Get out this chunk of white in here. There we go. Right, so that is it. All of my paints are clean. I can always take care of these a little bit later, these type of like little single pots. So here is the aftermath of what was created and what I pulled out of all of those paint tubs. Wow, this is a lot of gunk. I am so happy to have done like this early spring cleaning. I'm really excited now to get painting. Make sure you're subscribed. You don't wanna miss the video. Stay awesome, stay colorful, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Cookie swirl. See? <laughs>